Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute Santa hat. Um, it's super fun and really quick to make, and we've got the soft velvety yarn that we use for this hat. So uh, stay tuned and make this hat with me. Oh, and by the way, look, I've got my, my little dog Molly with me today too. <laughs> she had to be in the pictures. The supplies you're going to need for making this hat is, first of all, you're going to need the yarn. So the yarn that I'm using is the Loops, or yes, Loops and Threads um, Sweet Snuggles yarn, and it is in the um, red color, and I am using um, what it um, suggests on the package. So I'm using my um, nine millimeter crochet hook to make this. Um, you could adjust yours though. I'm using my uh, white furry yarn, a pom-pom, and I just buy that on Amazon guys. So I just buy it by bulk. It's super cheap on Amazon. You're gonna need your nine millimeter crochet hook, your measuring tape, your size chart, and your scissors to make this. Now, the si size I've decided to go ahead and make is an adult large. So that's gonna be 21 inches um, in the hat circumference. Um, and then at least eight inches long, but of course we're making a Santa hat, so it's going to be longer than eight inches. So what I'm going to do to start is, of course, I'm going to make my slip stitch onto my hook, and then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to do four double crochets in the second chain from that hook. So that's the first chain that I made is the second chain from that hook. And the reason I'm doing this instead of a magic ring is because it's really hard to pull a magic ring tight with this, um, with this type of yarn. So that's the reason I'm doing this instead of a magic ring. And again, it's a little bit easier with this type of yarn to do it like that. And then once I've made my four double crochets, I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made. And I'm going to make sure that's turned the right way. So I'm just turning it the right way, the correct way there. And now I'm going to slip stitch to that first one I made, but I like to count just to make sure I'm slip stitching in the correct stitch, especially for that first one, because it can be kind of hard to see to work into it, so I always like to count it. And I have a tendency to do this a little bit tight, so sometimes I have a hard time working into that, and um, I'm working on not doing it so tight, by the way. So now our next round, we're going to chain two, and now we're gonna do two double crochets in that first stitch and then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that around that'll just repeat one time and at the end of this we're going to have six double crochets in row two so now i'm just doing one double crochet in that next stitch and then I'm gonna do two double crochets in the next one. And then one double crochet in the next stitch. And when I'm finished with that, I'm going to slip stitch the first stitch made. And make sure it doesn't curl back on you like it's trying to do me. So you may have to straighten it out just a little bit. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch that first double crochet that I made. And by the way, this yarn is just super, super soft and velvety. I love this yarn. And it works up really quick, this does. And it's very beginner friendly. So row three, I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to repeat what I just did, basically. So I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around till I get back to where I started from. And then this round is going to have a total of nine stitches. So here in this next stitch again, I'm doing two double crochets in that stitch. And then I'm doing one double crochet in the next stitch. And 
And then of course I'm doing two double crochets in that next stitch. And then I'm doing one double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch to that first double crochet that I made. Now in this next one I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do, um, this is row four by the way, so I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next and I'm going to again repeat that all the way around and this row I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochets. And guys if you're liking the video it would really mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. And I thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys choosing my video and watching it. Now I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then I'm going to do one double crochet in the next two stitches and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around where I'm doing two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next two stitches and this is row five and in row five we will have a total of 16 double crochets and then when we get done um, with this we're just going to slip stitch to the first stitch that we made. Alright, so on this next round, round six, we're going to chain two and we're going to do two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next three stitches and we're going to repeat that all the way around and we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet we made when we're completely finished with this round and this um, row will have a total of 20 double crochets in it. Now on row seven, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we were doing before. So we're going to chain two and we're going to do two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next four stitches. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around and we're going to slip stitch into the um, first double crochet that we made. And um, this round or row, row seven, we're going to have 24 double crochets in total.
Then our next row is row eight. So we're going to chain two and we're gonna do two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next five stitches. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. We're going to slip stitch in that first double crochet that we made. And then, we're, um, then we'll actually have 28 double crochets on this row. So row eight will have a total of 28 double crochets. So before I start the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure this. Um, the reason I'm measuring it is this is about um, 12, or this is actually about six and a half, six inches long. So that is the newborn size if we were going all the way around. So that would make about a 12 to 12 and a half inch um, in circumference for this hat. So from here, if I were making a newborn size, I would just start in my rows going down then and I wouldn't add anything else. I'd probably do two rows of just um, repeating one double crochet each in those and then I would start my fur, fur row from there. But since we're doing a bigger size, row nine is going to have, you're gonna chain two and you're gonna do two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next six stitches. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and um, you're gonna slip stitch in that first double crochet that's made. And on this row, you're going to have 32 total double crochets. So on this row, row 10, we're going to chain two and we're going to do two double crochets in that first stitch, and then one double crochet in the next seven stitches. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. We're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet we made. And on um, this row, row 10, we're going to have a total of 36 double crochets.
So now we're on row 11. We're going to do two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. And we're going to repeat this sequence all the way around. And at the, we're going to slip stitch in the, uh, when we get to the end, we're going to slip stitch in that first double crochet that we made. And, um, this row, row 10 is going to have a total of 40 double crochets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this. I want to see if it's the size that I need. So here we have, yeah, that is, that's, that's a good size. So this is about the size that I need. This will come out to just around 20 inches. So now what we're going to do row 12 is we're going to chain two and then we're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet we made. And again, this row will again have a total of 40 double crochets. So now we're at row 13. So for row 13, we're just going to chain two. And again, we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're going to slip stitch to that first double crochet we made. And this is going to be our last row of red. After this, we're going to color change to white. And um, we're going to go from there.
So here I'm doing my slip stitch, but I'm not going to complete it. I'm going to pull the white through. I'm going to cut my red yarn. I'm going to leave it a little long so I've got plenty of it to work into. And now I'm just going to pull that white through that stitch so it makes it complete. And you will get the little fuzzies all over the place when you do this. And again, you can see I'm leaving the white long too. That way I can um, work it in better. So now we're going to chain three. And now we're going to do one triple crochet all the way around. So just make one triple crochet all the way around. And this could be kind of hard to see. So as you see there, I couldn't tell if I went through the right loops or not. So I'm yarning over, I'm gonna pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And you may have to even use your finger to separate this a little bit. That way you can see um, where your fuzzy yarn is at and where your actual loops are at because it does kind of get in the way just a little bit there. So you can separate the yarn with your finger like I'm doing right there so I can actually see what I'm doing. And so you're just going to do the triple crochet all the way around until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch into that first triple crochet you made. And then we're going to work all our ends in. So here I'm running out of yarn, so I'm just going to join these two together. I do have a video about how to join them, so I'll link that in the description below. But basically, I'm tying a knot in one, and then I'm going to the other end, and I'm tying a knot around the other one, and I'm just going to pull those tight. This is this will not come out, this knot. It's a extremely, extremely uh, well, uh, well secured knot there. And so now I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm going to clip those little fuzzies off right there where the knot is and I'm going to continue working. And you won't be able to see that at all. So here I'm just continuing going now doing one triple crochet in um, each stitch all the way around.
Now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first stitch made and that can be a little bit hard. You may need to like use your fingers and actually feel of it because it can be a little bit hard to tell where that stitch is at. Now I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to leave it a little bit long and I'm just going to work those in. So I'm going to pull the white to the back there. I'm going to pull the red up, down, back, forward, every which way you can. I'm going to really work it in very, very well so it won't come undone. So again, I'm just working these ends in and this, I'm going to go ahead and burn it a little bit. This kind of makes it um, where those ends don't start coming out. So those little furry things um, makes it where they don't come out. Now, I usually don't like doing that, but with this, I'm going to go ahead and do it just because it's, um, you know, it, it just keeps on fraying some. I don't want it to fray anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But again, I usually don't do that. It's just when it frays a lot is when I will do that. And if you decide to do it, burn the ends. Be very, very careful. Definitely don't want to set anything on fire. Now still I'm just working those ends in, going back and forth all around until I'm done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my little pom-pom at the top and I just get it from Amazon. I buy it in bulk because I do make a whole lot of these. And so I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and um, just add that pom-pom on top. And I like the Gorilla hot glue because once you put it on there, it is not going to come off. Now, if you wanted to take something off, you're literally not going to get it off with the Gorilla glue. And guys, if you're liking this video so far, please... Um, Subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a ton to me and like this video. Thanks for making this Santa hat along with me, everybody. And um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And happy hooking, everyone.